Hi, welcome to the show 008 of Podium called Understanding Your Mental Life, Marginal Gains or Mental Illness. So this week I had the pleasure of hosting a group Zoom call and it was called Understanding Your Mental Life, Marginal Gains or Mental Illness and I titled it that to Get us curious about how an understanding of the three principles behind the human experience actually impacts performance. Because on one hand, we are looking, aren't we, for these additional things that we can find out, that we can um, know about, that will give us the edge, will give us a few more seconds on the race, will give us an extra shot or a couple of shots, depending on your sport. It'll It'll knock just seconds um, off of your time. And all of that is related to the human being, the, the performance, the human performance. And you might find out something about the equipment or you might get cutting edge technology as to how to fuel the body or to build the body or to make it faster, make it stronger. Everything is about the human person or the human I should say as the person and so in terms of marginal gains my understanding is that we've been looking for those things that we can get to understand intellectually or conceptually that would give us the cutting edge over the opposition would allow us to perform better than the opposition so that's kind of my scoop on on marginal gains and that's the part of the session that I want to really tune into in this show because where I see the principles or I should say where I see what the principles are pointing to understanding how it is human beings get to experience what they do I see that as massive gains. So on one hand, yes, it is. It is a gain. But it's huge compared because we're not looking at the human performance and trying to adjust that in a sort of a linear fashion. What we're looking here is to understand where does all of that performance come from? What's the nature of it? How does it come into being? And when we start to look in that direction, every part of an athlete's life is transformed. If they're ready and open to seeing something new and fresh that they haven't seen before. So their relationships change, communications change, their ability to come up with creative and spontaneous ideas, that, tra- that changes when they're feeling off and start to have those downward spirals of adversity, they're able to transcend those experiences. So we're not, it's not that we're looking for a tiny marginal gain about the performance. Looking in this direction has the capacity to change everything about that human being's life. So last week I had the pleasure of working with a professional football team and I think there are about 25 professional football athletes in the room together with maybe a management team of about five or six. And we started talking and it was just an hour and a half's chat and I had really no idea as to what it is I was going to share with them. I just wanted to show up in the room and just feel feel where they were at and it seemed that they were on a bit of a losing streak or at least they they couldn't find any consistency at all and it occurred to me that if they understood their mental life if they understood how it works if they were able to get a glimpse of who and what they really are as human beings 
And I say this several, I say this a lot, actually, we're human beings, not human doings. And that really speaks to me. And then this week I started to think about, well, what's the difference between the space of creating fine performance versus needing and wanting fine performance? And that's what I saw with these, these athletes, that they were in a space of real need. And that was that was affecting their their capacity to feel and connect with their innate mental health and potentially would cause them mental illnesses like depression and stress and anxiety. So even the word create actually doesn't really do it for me because create can be it can be interpreted as as a doing actually a cr- creating as a doing thing and what i'm really pointing to is the difference between just being just connecting with well just being in the moment with nothing else on your mind allows you to connect with that spaciousness that space out of which everything just comes or the space into which performance just appears. And last week we talked about pure consistency and skills that we've learned and mastered just being available to us. And there, so there is this, this intelligence behind the system which allows us just to be like life just is and when we when you take away all of the things that are on your mind or all of the beliefs and the expectations and the wants and the desires if you just 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 take those away for a minute What have you got left? What is there there? It's a beautiful space. And it's not needing to prove anything. And it's not seeking approval of anything. It's before those forms, those, if you like, conditioned forms that we make up as true and necessary to validate us as human beings. And it's a misunderstanding because life just unfolds. If, if, we, if we just let it, it just unfolds all by itself. And I'm seeing that more and more in my life. I'm just showing up to every moment and I'm being shocked by the performance. I'm being shocked by what it is I'm able to achieve. And as soon as I get on to it, as soon as I have any expectation about how I want it to be or how it should be or how it ought to be, it's nowhere near, nowhere near as exciting as authentic and as as good if you like and I know that's a judgment as it would be if I just let it happen and so when I was talking to these athletes and we we went to that space of how was it for you playing football when you were a kid when you were a child Because in that space, we haven't learned all these these constructs that keep us limited and restricted. You know, kids just play. And they have such fun expressing themselves. They've got nothing on it that is... That is, that is negative that gets in the way of the performance. The performance just flows. It's fluid. And it's beautiful. 
And I have to say, you could have heard a pin drop in the room. It was it was as if the players were like cardboard cutouts. They were they were just still. And we met heart to heart, soul to soul. And I felt that they knew they were okay. They were absolutely okay. Noth nothing that needed fixing or changing. But the way in which life is playing out through them is perfect. Because it just is. Consciousness is. Consciousness is. There's nothing more you can say about it. Well, there's nothing more I can say right now. I don't have any more words for it. But I could get a real sense that they saw in that moment that there was a lot of made up stories, a lot of beliefs that they could see as illusory because they have this power of thought to create them. And they were scaring themselves. You know, it's funny, isn't it? We watch a scary movie and and a thriller and a suspense and there's a killer and, 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 and it plays out in our physical body. It kicks in our entire sensory system because we have this power of thought that allows us to do that. And yet we don't, we turn the television off and we don't think any more of it. We don't think the killer is coming to get us upstairs. We know that we've just had an experience of our imagination. Yet when it comes to performing in, in sport or in life, and we have a sensory system of a sensory experience of our thinking, we don't just walk away and think that that's a, a, an experience of our imagination. We believe it to be real and true. And so when the the team had previously lost and and I I got them to see that any of their thinking that they have right now is just thought in this moment and it's not being caused by the loss and anything that you have on it is your imagination just like if you're watching a movie And it was, it's really beautiful to see. And they went out and the following game, they won it. They certainly played with a lot more freedom rather than a lot of psychological noise. And this week they've won again. <laughs> so it seems that momentum is building as they touch and connect with their innate mental health and who and what they really are which is the intelligence of all things. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, you can email me on denise.holland at class-performance.com. Please do um, check out my new podcast series called Podium, Spiritual Truths Behind Elite Sports Performance. Or join my Facebook page, which is at holland 3 ps and that just leaves me to say thank you for listening to the show and I look forward to sharing with you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.